Let's now solve some questions on this section. When should the testers start reviewing project documents? When they have been baselined and approved? After the first revision? As soon as a draft is available when the developers have started coding? Of course, we testers should review documents as soon as a draft is available. What is important to do when working with software development models? To adapt the models to the context of project and product characteristics, to choose the waterfall model because it is the first and best proven model to start with the V model and then move to either iterative or incremental models to only change the organization to fit the model and not vice versa. Of course, the correct answer is that we adapt the models to the context of our project. Which of the following characteristic of good testing apply to any software development lifecycle model? Acceptance testing is always the final test level to be applied. No, we said that overlap happens. All test levels are planned and completed for each developed feature. This may happen and may not, and this is not a good characteristic of testing. Sometimes we may need it and sometimes we may not. Testers are involved as soon as the first piece of code can be executed. No, they should be involved as soon as drafts are available. For every development activity, there is a corresponding testing activity. This is correct. Which iterative model consists of relatively short iterations, like few weeks, and produces small feature increments? Rational Unified Process, Scrum, Kanban, Rapid Prototyping. It is, of course, Scrum. In Scrum, we have short iterations. Which iterative model may or may not have fixed length iterations? Kanban is the iterative model that may or may not have fixed length, and we can deliver the software feature by feature or iteration by iteration. 